Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, I'm going to revise my gold forecast and silver forecast as well. We're going to look things. Yesterday I did pri indicated price movements. They are not, the prices in gold and silver are not moving as expected they are going to be. So that means that the uh, wave count that we did initially, we have to pull out of it. Doesn't mean that the whole trend the bearish trend is out no the direction it looks like the direction of the price movement is going to be much deeper than we thought so in today's video I'm going to discuss that where we are exactly looking at it I'm going to discuss gold and silver both of them in here so first of all now because of the the, the change in the price reaction is pushing me to indicate that we are considered with this as wave 1 sub wave 1 sub wave 2 sub wave 3 4 and 5 and this completes an intermediate wave one and this wave construction that has been going on we have only completed one leg of it we are still in the middle of the second leg of the correction and after the second leg is complete price is going to go on the top let's zoom into the second leg which is wave b of the price movement and i've decided to use 15 minute chart on that uh, just so that we have some idea okay let's see 30 minute chart uh, seems much reasonable. So first of all, uh, initially I thought that the prices jumped up. This is itself is on this signal on its own is bullish for the correction. I was expecting the prices pull back. Instead, what has happened? Prices have run away. Does not doesn't mean it looks like that we are going to see some correction uh, deeper downward. And just give me a minute to let me explain what is happening. So this runaway price movement has helped me to see that with the strength of it that there is something wrong with our uh, especially the the labeling of the correction and that's what I have come up with. Mm, I'm considering this whole price movement. There's a good possibility right now that we might see one more push upward or not. There's a good possibility. This push upward should not be uh, really all the way up. So I'm expecting if this happens, we might have something like this. And, and then I'm expecting that we will have, you're going to see something like this. This will create an expanded flat for the correction. So this is wave A and then wave would be, B would be an expanded flat. And then the, after that prices are expected to rise upward. And this is going to be deeper price movement. And it looks like that if you are bearish it looks like that prices when fall down are gonna help you come out of the trend and if you wanna join the trend later on so if you are bearish it looks like at least right now that prices are gonna give us uh, some chance to come out of the week uh, our position what if you wanna uh, your choice what do you wanna do on a 15 minute chart let's see let's delete that and I'm looking at one more thing where the price could actually come and this is this. There is a possibility that this trend is line is trend line is going upward. So there is a, a strong possibility that the price when comes down, we're gonna see some support right over here. We are also gonna combine this top and this top to see if we can find some support. And so we're gonna draw this kind of zone as well, and it's very important. So if not over here, then prices should come and find support right over here. The important support should be right over here. And in that moment when prices come over here, I'm going to try to take benefit of the price movement upward because it's been too long for the bearish price movement. We have been waiting for the bearish price movement. I'm still bearish on the long term trend. I'm still bearish on the long term trend. If the correction goes so deep and it looks very likely the correction is going to very deeply, going to go very deeply. I'm going to push my target from 1550 to 1610 now. So 60 degree upwards these the same amount of uh, the price that we are expecting to go deep so that's why I have pushed my uh, bearish target upwards right now because wave 2 is looking way further deeper than we thought initially and then we have seen an interesting uh, opportunity on silver as well give me a moment and I'll discuss that so first of all we have one and two points we're expecting that the prices come down is going to give us a third point on this support line or if not then we already have one two and one three points on this trade trend line then if prices cross that we are able to cross that resistance for the wave b then they might are gonna be uh, finding support right over here and uh, what we can do is we can also draw fibonacci analysis right from the top of the wave to right over here 
although the price is right now hanging below 50 degree uh, 50 percent but the wave structure is really giving us an indication this is only one part of the collection the second part is is going to be very very messy it's quite possible that we are going to see 50 a uh, sharper price movement because this is what happens when we have been moving side waves uh, for a good while right now so there's a good possibility that we're going to see stop sharper price movement downward and of course that indication that price movement downward would be temporary let's have a look at silver now because of the things that are looking different in uh, in gold and silver in gold so I've decided to revise this as well so I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C. I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C right over here on the support line. And this is going to be a five wave structure right over here. So expanded flat as expected, right? Just like here, wave A, wave B and wave C was longer. So I'm expecting a similar behavior on a larger on a larger move as well. So I'm considering this as wave A, considering going to be considering this as wave B and then a five wave structure upward. This is how it is looking right now on silver. So I it is good if you are if you are really bearish on the price movement it's gonna good very keep close. The good thing is the bad thing is we have been waiting for the prices to move downward and it's not gonna happen. It looks like we are we have another few days, few more days to uh, actually wait for the bearish trend to resume. And the correction has actually surprised me as well. I was expecting the correction is gonna be very low and uh, shallow correction no things are totally different so once what happens after that it's also enforcing me that I when if prices are going all the way deep right over here is giving me a completely different uh, it indication as well it looks like that when prices come down they're still going to be messy after the prices come down right so after the prices come down right over here we're gonna see a lot of mess in this area this is what the deep price movement of wave 2 is uh, indicating right now so we'll see how things go. Thank you so much for visiting. Have a good one and bye-bye.